Welcome to Back Pockets Game of the Year Special for 2023. We are doing this. You got very close to punching Well, me. you said you wanted energy, so I'm giving you energy. <laughs> All right, that's a punch in the face. I'll take it. <laughs> she just wants to wake you up a little bit. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. We've got a big list. We sure do. Uh, I can just about read it. Yeah, but just to remind everyone what we're doing today, we've all um, put out our videos of our favourite game of the year. Yep. Uh, and it's not necessarily the game of the year, but it's the one that was most special to us. Uh, what we're doing now is we're going to find Back Pocket's definitive game of the year by looking at all the great games that came out this year, whittling a list down. It is a list video. Uh, whittling it down, and we'll pick our top 10 and try and, you know, Put one in position one. It has to holistically represent us as a team. It, this show. isn't just the five of the videos yeah. are the five videos we watched totally. in our little piece. That's like, we might the drop show. one. I'm, I might drop mine out of the top ten and be totally. like... Totally. I mean, you will because it's shit. It's such a tall order, isn't it? <laughs> Especially... We haven't even that. started <laughs> yet. And we're fine. Jeez. This, I, I would argue, I think it was 20, 2012, uh, the year that Skyrim came out. 11. In my mind, 2011. Like, yeah. We have not been doing Back Pocket that long. <laughs> <laughs> that was Gus, the definitive we year. We started in 2020. <laughs> 11, yeah. 11 that was like OG Dark Souls, Skyrim. 2011 was the best year in gaming. Was I think this year has like blown very easily blown that out of the water. The people blown saying, out of the water? You know what I reckon? Nah, it's what we talked it's about. It's crap. like there are too many picks. We're about to look at a list of crap. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and He's and what you call incendiary. Oh, <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Crap. And again, we did brief Ruby before this. This is your first big list cull. Well, you got to be brutal. There's no... Yeah, 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 I, no. Kill um, your darlings. Yeah, I hate killing my darlings. I love kissing my darlings. Okay, do you want to so. give them the kiss of death? Let's do you want to get rid of them? the first game with a kiss of death? Yes. Um, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang, 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 hang. This okay. is a scatter shot. Let's yeah. read a column each. Okay. Okay. There's only three columns and there's four of us. Gus. Hey, what's happening? Damn it, Give us I some direction. Out of reading what's it. Happening? The blind one doesn't have to. Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, Baldur's Gate 3, Le Legend of Zelda, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Hi-Fi Rush, Alan Wake 2, Final Fantasy 16. 16, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Street Fighter 6, Lies of P, Diablo 6. Four. Dre four. four. Dre oh. I'm not be that. Who are you? <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil <Diablo> 6. <laughs> Ahead of the curve. Resi 4 Remake, Cocoon, Sea of Stars, Starfield, Armored Core. Uh, six. Six. <laughs> 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 a Rubicon, Dead Space Remake, Pikmin 6. Four. <laughs> <laughs> the Pizza Mountain, uh, Pizza Tower, Knuckle Sandwich, Gubbins. You want to have a go? Yeah. Mortal Kombat 1? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Metroid Prime Remastered, Viewfinder, Venba, mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed, Mirage, Fire Emblem, Engage, yeah. System Shock Remake, Day the Diver, Party Animals, Lethal Company, Remnant 2, Stray Dogs. Thirsty gods. <laughs> it's gods. <laughs> to be fair, I saw, I saw Dave the Lover from here. <laughs> stray, dogs. stray Dogs. It's because it's when, really small. the word yeah. that comes after Stray is it's usually dog. dog. Yeah. That's what my brain <laughs> defaulted to. Do you think that that was kind of in intentional maybe? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah, there was a whole thing with that where I was I was uh playing that and I was like it's like it's it, there's an angel or some kind of being from outer space. Like it's God stuff. It's God. <laughs> Damn it. Where are the dogs? What well, every time? Thirsty uh, suitors? Yes, thirsty suitors Super Mario RPG, like a dragon Ishin, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, The Talos Principle 2. Mm. Fruit game. Um <laughs> What is that? Uh, Paranormal site. Yeah. 7 Mysteries of Honjo. Honjo. Yeah. Honkai Star Rail, Shadow Gambit, The Cursed Crew, oh. Octopath Traveler 2, and Jusson. Just Ant. Just Ant. Uh, do Ruby, you read it? go yeah, for okay. it, yeah. Go. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, Videoverse, Moss Book 2, A Space for the Unbound, Forspoken, Oddballers, Atomic Heart, Sons of the Forest, Density 2, Lightfall, Storyteller, Density. Then Stinny, then Denny, uh, uh, Chia, or is, or is it just Chia? I think it's I think just it's Chia. Chia. Yeah. Uh, Lego 2K Drive, mm. Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Ooh. Mars First Logistics, Dead Island 2, Omega Strikers, The Finals, Redfall, Everybody Want to Switch, The Expanse, oh, Telltale oh, Series, shit. Moving Out 2, Slay the Princess, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3. So I just realized that, that there is a. Yeah. There is a really uh, strong what? case for everybody what? one to switch as Back Pockets Game of the Year. There but is. If we're going by the criteria by the, that's true. Totally. of what represents the show. That's a top <laughs> yeah. ten. I reckon that's a top Ooh. ten Picking game. Picking that game makes Ooh. me think, yeah. Ooh. 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 
We've all played it together. We've played it with the audience. Anyway, we got to we got to kill a bunch. I think there are 70, 69 nice uh, <laughs> titles on the screen right now. We got to get that down to twenty fast. Jesus. Okay, what are we killing? What are you kissing to death? We got to work through them. Yeah. Like, we can, if we scatter gun, we'll get confused. I'm no, gonna, we won't. Okay. I'm going to go purely based on the fact that uh, I don't think anybody played it. Don't justify. Kill you don't need kill. justification. Kill. Oh, kill. okay. Kill. Uh, Cocoon. I'm sure it was amazing, but. That's an interesting one to start with because it's brilliant. People are loving it's, it's, that. It's fantastic. But none, but, wow. None I don't think any of us have played uh, it. Peter Kill. Yeah. Uh, well, Modern Warfare 3. Gone. <gasps> Why? You do this to me. Was that no, really one of your favorite games for of the sake year? of the zombies? Is video game. Yeah, Definitely. but there's zombies in every uh, single Atomic Call of Heart. Game. Oh, I meant back me up with Modern Warfare. All oh, right. <laughs> I was like the zombies. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie, and you're like kill uh, Atomic Heart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Atomic Heart's got to go. Yeah, buy Atomic Heart. I'll go with. Uh, for spoken, yeah, sad, sad Same. but true. Ruby, kill. Um, oddballers. I don't know what that is. Oddballers is a cute little uh, Ubisoft thing. One of the like little sleeper, game. I didn't sleeper play games. It. We should have played that on the that show. That would have been great. It's a it's a great. We still can game. one day. Yeah, mm. yeah it's not but it's gone. gone for now. It's gone now. It's not gone. Bye. From, from <laughs> Peter, life. kill. Uh, Peter, kill. <laughs> uh, like a dragon, Ishin. Not a top twenty game. It's just okay. Not for us. Is, I, the, is the feudal one. Uh, oh, apparently it's really good. I played it. I, it wasn't it's great. It wasn't a good back pocket game. It wasn't game, great. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. uh, Didn't like. Steph? I can hear me. Uh, Sons of the Forest. The of oh, my game of the year. It took me so long for that to come out. Sons of the Forest. Me. Peter, Sons of the Forest <laughs> gone. Sons of the Forest gone? Yeah, it's not a top 20 game, Son I don't think. It. Uh, Had that boy in it, though. That fella who's got a head injury. Oh, yeah, he yeah, did too. He was cute. Right, no, he was fun. Game of year? <laughs> no, no. The downfall for me was like eight players on a server was like what I was excited for and yeah. it did not it run well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take out uh, the VR, the only VR game I think I can see. Horizon, Call of the Mountain, bottom of the uh, first column. Moss wrong. Book two. Moss Book 2 is also a VR game. Oh, yeah. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of them both. <laughs> VR's gone. VR sucks. Uh, it doesn't. VR doesn't it's suck. Have, it's it's fine. Fine. It'll have its moment. It's fine. Once Sushi Ben comes out on PlayStation VR 2, that is when VR will be cool again. we got to kill so many. I know, yeah. I'm going to... Can I say Thirsty Suitors? Yep. As a... Not as impactful uh, version as some of the Don't other... I need to channels. justify Yep, cool. Go on. Bye. I'm um, no fun for it. Talos Principle 2. I heard people have enjoyed it. Never played it. Heard good things. Yeah. Uh, I heard Octopath Traveler 2's um, soundtrack was really good, but I heard nothing Not about the gameplay. Not that game category. Play. Get rid yeah. of it. Steph, kill. Uh, I feel like... Uh, At the bottom. I feel like uh, Dead Island 2 was yeah. not as good as I wanted totally to be. Totally not as good. Nope. Uh, Redfall, you're gone. <laughs> Redfall's got to go. go. Redfall, you're too. gone. Sorry. Bye-bye. Um, both on the right. What was that? Dead Island third, 2 and Redfall column. both on the... Th uh, yeah, third column. Bottom third yep. column is Redfall and, and also Dead Island, Dead Island 2. 2, yeah. Yep. That's all right. Can we get rid of uh, Honkai Star Rail? Oh. <laughs> for being a gambling addict's no. game. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's gone. No, it's telling, really telling good. It like it it's really good. It's a really good game. Okay, leave it for now. It might be a top 20 and then we can kill it later. Yeah. Uh, it's actually... Okay, I won't. Street oh, Fighter 6. I'll go later. <laughs> I played a fair bit. It's not a game of the year, but it's, it's weirdly ambitious. Yep. Sorry, I should have said what that is. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage. Yeah, I played that. I played I, a lot of that. It's not, it's not up there. I love Fire Emblem, me but too. I, I, it was a miss for me. Uh, where's that one? That's top of the second column. Fire Emblem Engage. Yeah. You're gone. System Shock Remake underneath I it. Gone. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I was, was, was going to throw out. I thought it was out. probably one of the best remakes I've played mm. in a while. I was going to throw out. Dead Space, System Shock, and Metroid Prime as all great games, great Just, to play again this year, yeah, two, great remasters, not games of the year, not yeah. top 10 games. Resi 4 can stay. Would we add No, Resi 4 should go as would well. We add no, no. Yeah, 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 it should. No, yeah. we'll come back yeah. to that. I'm sorry I brought it up. Um, <laughs> Steph? Would we add Armored Core and System Shock to those? Armored Core should Armored stay Core for now. Armored Core is a new game. Uh, System Shock, System is, Shock is, going, is a remake. Yeah. Is a remake old. Yeah. Uh, Metroid Prime, top of the second column. Metroid Prime remastered, that's going... Uh, and then a few rows below that. Whoa, we lost the first column for a second. Uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, Will. Um, there we go. Nice. A um, lot of work to do still. Yeah, let's uh, go. Pizza Tower. Oh, it's a great game. Pizza Tower rocks. It's really, Moving out really two. good. Moving out two can go. I like the first one more. I yeah. Omega I, I, Strikers. Didn't play it. You played that. You were yeah, big. that can go as well. Uh, it's great. 
That can go. The We're working final, backwards. Up finals the is great, but probably not. Uh maybe top twenty. It's it's the it's probably the most interesting shooter to, to come cheer out this year. again. What was that? Oh, Chia. Chia little was island, really good. Anything? It was um the 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 New Caledonia game. Oh, we did really animals. Beautiful. Animals, and yeah, lovely. What really, about, really. What beautiful. about knuckle sandwich? I fucking love knuckle sandwich. Okay, Wait, Ruby, just that's a Ruby special. This isn't helping. Me. Like, what well, don't you I, like? I think it is helping because it knows what we keep. It knows what we keep. <laughs> it knows. Chia's got to go. Storyteller can go. Storyteller great, but can Storyteller was awesome. Yeah, it's it was an awesome game. Awesome. Lego two tray two K drive as I, well. I don't care. For Ooh, that's a will. Will, will only will here. can save that one. Will you're not here? He cannot. <laughs> S middle of second column uh, Super Mario RPG remake can't be in the game of the year I agreed would say. yeah Resident I thought Evil it was awesome well, but no, like Rosie stays no, why Rosie stays let's come back to that circle back yeah um, <laughs> I feel like you're saying that until uh, enough are gone that you don't have to get rid of it Sight, no, we'll Seven of Mysteries sure. of Honkai I think Hondra I'm the only person here that played Paranormal yeah, Sight yeah so I was gonna um, say I, like, I, really, I really liked it I didn't finish it Okay. So okay. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Not even finishable. Yeah. An unfinishable title. That's <laughs> Ruby. a quote from Ruby. Bottom, bottom <laughs> left. <laughs> bottom left. Bottom of the bo first column. You gotta keep one and ditch two. Uh, no, I don't. No. I mean, I'm a Gubbins. I'm a Gubbins. <laughs> Gubbins, fan. Gubbins, I'm a Gubbins rocks. Per, Knuckle Gubbins. sandwich is incredible and unlike anything pizza else I've ever played. Can go. Pe no, it cannot. Pizza Tower rocks. A pizza says it's pizza so goal. good. I played it. I really liked it. I would not put it up as Shadow Gambit really? Curse Crew. Yeah, it was really cool. Shadow Gambit Curse Crew, bottom of the middle column. Really, really good game. It. Poor developers shut down straight after it because no one liked it. Video it's a really good game. sucks. Video vs. is so cool. <laughs> they're all cool. <laughs> they're all great. They're all on this list because they're good. They Venba. got made. Yeah. Then uh, I also really, really loved. But I think I think it managed to tell such a powerful story in the span of two hours, which I think is really hard to do with a game. Um, uh, I I'm gonna ditch Hi-Fi Rush top of first column. I played about two hours of that and I admired everything I was playing, but it did not hook me in enough to keep playing it. it it's fun. It might be a recency bias thing. I I remember when it came out and everyone was like, "This is incredible." I, I loved Hi-Fi Rush. I thought it was pretty. It good. got lost in the wash. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I think it was just uh, the problem of it coming out of the party start. Animal, of the uh, party yeah. animals. Party animals can go. Party yeah, animals can go Mad based. Can go. It's it's a back pocket favorite. Uh, it has to go based on the fact that there's no online. There's, there's no a, local co-op. No. The the it's, online it's is split it's, screen. It's for, there's not. There's only split screen yeah. local co-op, which was which a massive swing. Was a massive, uh, massive. Yeah. Uh, Between Dredge and Dave the Diver, or both. I would say they both make top twenty. Yeah, Dredge is wow. such an incredible okay. game. Yeah, I would keep those two over. Um, Lies of P. Remnant two. Liza P, I'm not attached to. Liza P and Remnant 2 are basically the same game. They're both Souls likes. <laughs> They're both yeah. Souls likes. Liza I think P, Liza P did more interesting I'm, things. Uh, than yeah. Remnant 2. I've kept Liza P installed on mine, and I'm definitely mm. going back to it. I think it's freaking awesome. Let's get rid of Remnant. I enjoyed. I think Liza P needs, with could Remnant. be up there for in a twenty as like a little dabble in a Souls yeah. like. Mm. So the year. yeah, and Party Animals as well. Um, are we are we genuinely keeping everybody one two switch in the list? Yeah. Yes, it stays down there for now. Yeah. Okay. These are, this is a chaotic list that yeah. no one will like. Yeah. That's <laughs> what, how Avatar, this Avatar's works. Top right. Right. And that's yeah. also how all lists on Back Pocket yeah. work. Yeah. Um, uh, and our community hate us for it. In, Avatar, in, in Avatar that, goes. That's what Avatar you call top incendiary. Right, that can go. In, in that <laughs> case, I am so strong on every game I want kept on this <laughs> list. <laughs> I didn't Avatar play goes. Mortal I Kombat goes. Uh, Destiny can go. Lightfall. Destiny can go, yeah. yeah. Destiny. Lightfall gone. Oof. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't play enough of Mortal Kombat 1. It's no Witch Queen. Yeah. So that's gone... Uh, Venmo uh, was the cooking one. Venmo I think that was so wonderful. I, I would say as a game of the year, though, it, like it was a beautiful narrative experience. It was really powerful and moving. I wouldn't say it's like a, a game that I remember and kind of like by. I've, I know I haven't been able to forget it. I, no, no, I, it, it neither really have I. But I would me. say like, yeah, I classify game that has to do a few other things to be. I has, disagree. Has to be a bit of fun. That's, this is a debate. I know, I know. Uh, but I, just because uh, you say mm. something doesn't mean I can't disagree with it. Compared to Diablo 6, <laughs> I don't think it holds gonna, a point. Yeah. Say, Diablo I'm, 6 is going to be amazing, I'm sure. I'm going to say we can, um, get, we can get rid of... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can get rid of fruit game. I love it, but it's not. It oh, it's pr yeah, it's pretty it's powerful, pretty, but also it's a yeah. pain in the. I fucking hate it's it. Pretty good, yeah. but yeah, it's. I will play it. Like, like next to a gubbins, like it's not yeah. totally. You know? totally. It's not a video game. Uh, Jason can go. It's a poker machine. I installed and played some, and yeah. it's great. It's just it is quite padded out. I would say a little too much. Viewfinder. I think we go. I think it it 
It's did, a very cool concept. Did most of what is the concept. Like, very cool concept. Set, yeah, up to B, but um, was not much more than <sighs> that. Yeah. How many it, have it, we got there so it's far? So good, but it, a lot and so inventive. We're probably still like it's over thirty. Play the princess. Very very cool game. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of. There's very, a few obscure cool. ones in here. There's a lot of very cool that, games though. Yeah. You got to start ranking your very cool games and then chopping in the, the bottom the, ones. The bottom mm. few. Yeah. Um, a star for the unbound, a space, for the, a space unbound? for the unbound. Was that one again? Uh, there was, it was the uh, game set in Indonesia, that time warping game. Mm. Really awesome. I that that's that came out at yeah, the I've, very I've very it, yeah. start of this year, awesome and I have app. not been able to like get it out of my mind. Yeah, mm. it it was freaking awesome. Uh, Final Fantasy. And it's like a it's like a classic SNES narrative game, mm. and it had beautiful. I think I missed that app, so I don't think I heard it you guys talk so about it. So I'm okay to leave that. Um, do, 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 stuff with Armored Core. Pikmin. Final Fantasy 16. Is that a top 20? It's a game that everyone kind of dropped off. I love it. Uh, yeah, I think um, I think it's amazing, but then it kind of it's quite bloated. Yeah, yeah. I could it's lose. Got a, it's got I really a lot of like um, the performances are incredible. Uh, yeah, I yeah. enjoy it. I, I, th I think that beautiful. I think people would be very angry if we get rid of that, but also um. Eh. We're here to make them. I can't. Um, I can't. Marvel Spider Man. Um, I haven't put enough time into it. I mean, it that's got to go for me. I don't think that's in the. Uh, I had, in the I had realms heaps of fun of with it. Yeah, I, I agree. I would say, I would say, Spider Man also. It's, it's funny. It's like one of the few games on there I've finished 100, percent but I'm okay to see it go because it. I played a lot of that. It's the first game again with different, you know, love window dressing. Love to see it go. And well, love to watch it leave. While we're on big games, so we're losing Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, I think yep. we're so, losing yeah. Spider Man 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we're we losing... talk about Star Wars Jedi Survivor? I'm happy to leave it. I couldn't. It didn't get its hooks in for me. Yeah, I mean, I finished it. I would ditch it. Yep. Um, Assassin's Creed Mirage, I think, was it was noble in its attempt to reboot and yeah, re yeah, yeah fall, fair. But I'm, also, I'm, but I'm, I, I'm really enjoying it. But again, yeah, if we're talking about not top, in the realms of game 10. of the year for me. Yeah, and it has to to get on this list. You got to you got to shake some stuff up. You got to have an impact. Uh, what was Videoverse again? Videoverse was the um, uh, uh, point and click kind of uh, me verse adventure that kind of Oh, tells you're one that you played with all the funny really love it. kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's Whoa, and there it goes. Important um, to my heart. That was cool. I think there's a lot here that... Mm, finals? The finals? We've got to, we got to ditch that? eight more. The finals was the, the sort of game show shooter that you played, wasn't it? It's only it? just... It came out last week. Yeah, yeah. but you played the, the early access. Beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, I, so I'm, Live service? I'm really only just... It's not live service. It's a it's a PVP shooter. Okay. But it's free. No, you have to pay for it as well. I think, don't you? Maybe it is free. I'm pretty sure I maybe hit install yeah, maybe on it yesterday play. because I saw free. No, you're right. I'm, I think, I think, <laughs> I think like, it is free to that's play. That's a price like, that I can get on board it's, with. It's all battle pass and cosmetics. Yeah, and stuff. okay, right. Mm. Um, I think it's really brilliant and a great PC shooter. And uh, but I haven't played enough of it to love it yet. Mm. But I do think it's really interesting that it's. It's in the kind of uh, asymmetrical PvPvP space um, and doing something interesting there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I like. I think it probably would be. It's definitely a top twenty for me. But whether it's um, whether it stands next to some of these other games, like everybody want to switch, you know. Well, how do, nothing, how, how, do you, how do you compare how to a do game you? like that? Mm. Mm. Uh, how do you do? Um, out of Thanks. some of those indies, I think we got to ditch a couple of the slightly more obscure. Mm, I disagree. Kind yeah. of story. Ones I think Slay the there. Princess has to go. I, I never finished it. I thought it was really, really cool, and I would love. It's one of the games that I want to kind of get into during the holidays, but I haven't yet, so yeah. I can't say. Honko Star Rail. Yeah. Great game. No, of course. Yeah, but, yeah, but so was uh, the other Genshin crap. Impact? Genshin Impact. Yeah, that yeah crap. Genshin Impact rocked. Yeah. I, if <laughs> Genshin Impact came out this year, I'd put it on this list. <laughs> Um, Honkai ditch it. Ditching Honkai. Okay. Yeah. I have I have a rule. If we're dink, dinchi, if we're dinching, dinch it. If we're dinching Honkai, yeah, yeah dinching. What mm -hmm. else are we dinching? We cannot dinch Hello Kitty. Oh, we'd never. We're dinch not Hello ditching Kitty. Hello Kitty. No one would take that Hello away from Kitty, you. Hello Kitty, we're cool. That, that, but, watching your joy from but that also, yeah. makes this. But also, we're all making sacrifices here. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, I just which made is one why of we're getting rid of <laughs> Hello Kitty. No, we're fucking we're all, not. Because we all love it so hey. much, we're all sacrificing. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. No, we're fucking not. <laughs> and that's that. And that is that. And that's that. I would like, again, I don't want to go after this thing with any sort of like malice, but I would like to remove Venba. Uh, Ven <laughs> um, Venga Boys. Venga Boys. Venba, again, yeah. it was very moving and it's a narrative experience that everyone should, should 
play, but I don't think it deserves to be in game of the year. I don't think it's a game. A Not enough game. Not mm-hmm. enough game for mm-hmm. what it for the was game of the year. So I, I would ditch that, but I implore everyone to go and play it if they can. Because it was knuckle very, sandwich. Very good. It's great. Keep it. Uh, it's so good. It's so good. It's, I, I've just never seen Resident what Evil it's done did, did, did we say no to the ditch finals it. in the end? Uh, if we, I'll it, lose the finals to lose it alongside Resident Evil Four. Yeah. I agree. I think we could ditch both of those. I don't want to remove Resi 4. There's no I, more remakes left too bad. in this. But I know I know remake is a we've So sad, all the too ones. bad. So sad too bad. Oh, too bad. So, so sad. It's sad. done so it's, <laughs> well. It's so polished. The game is perfect. It's not. It's, it's, still a, perfect. it's an average game that people like Get because it, it was it was exciting at the time and now it's a remake and it's not interesting. I now. will remove it. <laughs> Remember, <it's laughs> only Gus. Only I remember the calls. His so love. Sad. I feel better now. And kill the finals as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think yeah, we mentioned that. Yeah, get, get rid of the finals. Um, I would say between Ruby, you've got to pick between two, four, six, eight, ten, who do we 12, appreciate? 14, 16, Ruby 18, out of 20, Knuckle 22, Sandwich, Video Verse, and Space for the Unbound. I so think I right? there's I, a lot of there's a lot one. of touchstones of the get like. Rid of one ex- there? At least one. In between um, I think three, you're covering a lot one. of the same sort of thing there that you like in games. So I, th- I need you to narrow that down. Oh, to they're one very different games. They're different games, but I think they're, they're very different kinds of games. They, they all have. But the vibe, experience. you know, the vibe. Just the, just the, the, the vibe. All very different vibes. But you're as well. giving it a vibe, and what, so we need I, you. Well, because they're indie. <laughs> Uh, that's uh, okay. You yeah. know what? Out of those three, yes. which ones I'm are we willing, about? I am willing to uh, knuckle, video verse, and uh, space, space for the unbound. They are on my final list, but out of those three, I'm willing to get rid I of video verse. Sacri- video verse is gone. Yeah, you just sacrificed Resi. <sighs> and I loved that game deeply. We loved all the games that were but there. Yeah, willing to. Um, how many are we at? What's this? Is that six? Count them up for us, Will, and yell a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, so eleven, list. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Two. Um, more. Armored Core can go. Really? I, I, Why is it so weird? I heard That's nothing but good things. Yeah. Yeah. Armored Core is brilliant. Yeah, I okay. heard nothing but then good things. Fight me it's for not it. for me, but it's brilliant. Like I, I was like, I could. I mean, I wish I loved this game more is what but I was thinking while I was playing. But then does it, it so belong good. on the back pocket game of the mm, year list? Maybe not. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, sorry, yeah. No, oh, I mean, John. yeah, you're right. Like, yes. that's what I meant by ours, yeah. It's it so kept none though. of us beyond so the good. opening couple of hours to go, we admire the shit out of this game. I think I played like eight hours of it. And yeah, I, I, was played, like, I was like, I was like, I'm like done four. after three. But I was like, I need to play five more hours yeah. because I need to try and fall in love with it. Um, um, you really is, loved The Expanse, didn't you? Can yeah, I it's, Sea yeah, of Stars? It's, it's great, Did we it's have a conversation about that? that? Josh played Sea of Stars. Josh, Josh I know doesn't more get an about opinion, that game. I don't think. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 He's got on. a face. Oh, okay. Wait, we've got a we've got a cull two? Yeah, one. one more. Okay. Controversial. Sea of Ooh. Stars. Ooh. Stray, the kingdom. Stray Gods is an amazing game, but hang on, didn't didn't you came out of it being like no I no no, really no. I'm, 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 def- I'm deferring to you when you finished it. I'm trying to remember how much you walked away going. Steph actually played Stray Dogs. Oh, that's true. Yeah, the yeah. one set in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> great game. That's such a good <laughs> game. Great game. Put Stray Dogs, Dogs on the list. I <laughs> know <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Stray Gods is amazing. I would say it's like one of the most memorable games that I played. I also ended up finishing Stray Gods. I think I think what I'm remembering. No, I played through. I played it through through it. I'm misremembering a few reviews came in a little under what it was it was aim at what people expected to go for you found something in it that's perfect it makes the list second yeah, best totally. musical of the year there we go okay uh i think we I'll can make um, two um yes josh I, I think we can get rid of mars first logistics it's still no, in early can... access Ooh. it's oh, still in early access oh, yeah, burn it to on the a ground. technicality oh i mean on it. and it also just in case, purely on a technicality i was just gonna though. say just in case dan uh golding is watching also the music's don't oh, oh, on Mars, I don't, on Mars wow. all I'm doing is yeah, hearing really people scream. Just wow. So does that mean Mars First Logistics is a contender for next year? Correct. Absolutely. Uh, if it comes out of early access, which yeah. I'm assuming it will. But I just want to say a uh, uh, shout out to Ian and uh, I think Carolina who made the, that game. They're from Mars? Mwah. They, they are, are from Mars. Mars. Yeah. I love they the game. Fantastic. I played the shit so- out of it. Yeah. yeah, same. I have some screenshots of me and Shark playing that with some very strange protrusions, <laughs> trying to get things up like onto like levels of stuff. Okay, two, four, <laughs> six, eight, ten. Do we, we got two. Li- we got two lists of ten. Let's move the ones we want to keep to the left. Is that going to work for you, Will? And everything that ends up on the right. Well, actually, it just gets deleted if it's not going to make it to the left. So also, and Ruby, I being the first year of this, this is 
This is our top 20. This is our top 20. This is a way to acknowledge that we really care about these games. We, we love have to them. Di- do we have to ditch 10 now? Yes. Yes. So, so, and then rank so them. if a game gets ditched from here, it still carries with it the affection that it got brought to this list. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm helping this, this you is kill. How, this is how Gus breaks up with people. I just want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want you to know this is this represents the time we've spent together, and that it doesn't mean that I don't care about you. Yeah. You but, made the top um, twenty. Yeah. Well, well, here is where we have all the really good memories of us together. Yeah, no, yeah. and they represent you know the best parts of us. But then over here. Uh, or all the bad memories. Yeah, and, and I just want to say, just because um, this is being deleted from existence doesn't mean it's not important. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. This relationship <laughs> XVI, seven, yeah. I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's game over for us. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we got to kill died. some stuff here. And, it, it <laughs> and <laughs> now you must die now that we are no longer together anymore. So, <clears throat> left-hand side. Yeah. Uh, cyberpunk. Ditch it. Wow. I, I thought you were going to fight for that. I DLC. love Cyberpunk. Yep. But it's a DLC and a 2.0 release. Yeah. It's, ex- I, it's an expansion. It's an expansion to a great... It's, it's, a, it's a recovery of a great mm. game. Mm-hmm. To me, mm-hmm. it would be... It <laughs> Change would, the fonts now, Will. To me, it would be like giving Game of the Year to Sims 4 Pets. Oh, Holy no. shit, we should. Which we should. Congratulations for another year in a row. It is Sims 4 Pets. Cyberpunk gone. Baldur's Gate 3 stays there. Tears of the Kingdom stays there. Alan Wake 2 stays there. Super Mario Bros. Wonder stays there. Lies of P? Eh. Not top 20. I mean, not top 10. Not top 10. I don't think so. Let's let's shift it. Because we can do a little bit of this. We can do a bit of shifting. Push it over to the uh, right hand side. Can we? Can we do that? Diablo? Uh, I've played. I've liked played my heaps time, of it, liked right? my time I've played, with it. I've played so much of that this year, and I am still playing it. Yeah. I think that stays on that side for now. Big sick. game. Yeah, Dredge Incredible. is an amazing game. I played more of Dave the Diver in the end. Um, I played more of Dredge. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I played more of Starfield. So, <laughs> how much genuinely did <laughs> yes, you that love Starfield? That out. I, Starfield is fucking brilliant. Wow, it is awesome. That's crazy. That said, but, I'm not going back to. I just but it's, all, it's awesome for 80 hours and not 800 sure. hours, and that's why people are upset. It's like fucking grow up. I don't think I'm coming back to Dave <laughs> the Diver. You got an 80 hour great game. Mm. Dave the Diver hit a point, and it's a few people have mentioned this when you get the fish farm that it overloads you with mechanics, even though they're all done oh, wonderfully, and you go, farm. "This is too much." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It'll get you every time. Dredge is something I'm coming I back think, to. Well, that's the thing because so, I think Dredge has the uh, uh, plus side of. Uh, having so many interesting uh, characters that you kind of like uncover and learn. Did you meet anyone at the di- at the bar in Dave the Diver Sushi Bar? Uh, the I, most interesting I, characters I've ever met. I didn't play Dave the Diver. Oh, okay. David David. Dave the Diver. Dave the gone. I would. I'd like to keep Dredge on that side. I would love to keep. Starfield's eleventh. Starfield can go as well. It came eleventh. Let's say. Okay. Wow, you're, you're so yeah. brave. Starfield's wow, top 10. that's epic. That's bold of you. That's brave of you, Peter. Yeah, that's just progress. You know what? That's, that's bold and he's beautiful just, of you. He is ruthless. <laughs> is he setting up for uh, something else he wants to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring expense, back the Suka game. Oh, the expansion. <laughs> yeah, right. He's going to want to put And I'll bring back Honkai Star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Lethal Company. Yeah, we got to keep that. We got so that, 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 that should go on the left. Come across. Yeah, left it. Um, Gubbins, I would argue for keeping. Yeah, as well. yep. It's, let's get Gubbins, and uh, there's going to be a lot of conversation about Gubbins. I think. Let's mm-hmm. also go ahead and put everybody one two switch on the top of the list. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be. It's, it's number ten. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, it's number ten. Don't you think it should be number one? It's like just no. if we're gonna have the ten, like the fact that it's on there at all, it should be number one. <laughs> it's like number ten. Do you know what I mean? Like we go all zero? meme or we don't. What if we put it at number one and then at the last minute we one two switch and make it number two and we pick a number one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's one nice and two. Buffer for We're not ranking Switch. the top nice ten buffer. just yet. We're just selecting the top ten. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, left hand side order. survives. Yeah. Um, woo. The the lone the left one, two, side three, survives, four, five, but the is that six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay well, now what has to win? I don't win? know if I agree with that. <laughs> we we're not done yet. Uh, see your stars. Uh, obviously, indie game of the year at the Game Awards, but I don't I think. I think for the, what we played collectively, Josh played it for all of us. Yeah. But I think one person is not an island. No, would, no, I'm happy. No, to one see person it go. is. I would. I oh, would, he said he's happy to switch it out. He hates it. He said he hates it. I would switch it out for Stray Gods. I didn't mm. say that. Oh, that's well, right. You uh, have a mic. This makes a hole. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Everyone's got their pick out of all these ones. Ruby would probably go Knuckle Sandwich. Peter would probably go The Expanse. Steph uh, would go Stray Gods. I, I think no, I'm, I'm happy The oh, Expanse sorry. made it to top 20. I think Steph would go. go Hello Kitty. I, I will go Hello Kitty, but I also... Pikmin 4 was such a big game for me this mm. year. You got to pick one and maybe even that one won't get picked. So, and I would, if I had to pick out of all of them, I'd say Liza P and I don't think that deserves to be over there. So I'm going to defer this last one to go across to all I of think, you guys. Yeah, I would lose Liza P. I would lose yep. Pikmin 4. Yep. No. I would, I would try and find a way to get uh, Space for the Unbound across, I think. I think Space for the Unbound is such a beautiful game. Well, again, and I would lose Knuckle Sandwich and Stray Gods for Space for the Unbound as an, as the indie, as the shining um, emotional yeah. indie. And then Hello Kitty Island Adventure also is over on the left. No, Thank it doesn't you. work. That works. Well, no, do we end up with? Um, How many do we end up with if we get that across there? If we get if we put Space for the Unbound across and Hello Kitty and Hello Kitty. That's 11. <laughs> That's 11. Okay. But and, let's and lose, if we remove let's Well, then let's make... Okay, how let's about this? Let's lose everything. How about we right make our point. top 10 list 11? And because put one, two, switch. Two, switch. two, switch. Which is this it kind is of two like... two games. Is, is, it's is, one and two. It's just... It's just an... It's a honourable first place mention. Yeah. It's, it's, it's our true, game of the year based on... It's true first, but yeah. not actually... So if we can get Hello Kitty over to the left... I agree. We're fighting for this extra spot and it's one, two, switch has to go and live in a little category of its own. Yeah. At the top of the list, but like not actually part of it. Yeah. Correct. Ooh. Um. All right. So how many is that exactly? 11. That's 11. Yeah, that makes sense. Hang on. That's our top 10. Plus one. Can I put a spanner in the works? Why? And go, I only want 10. Why are we doing 11? Let's not be cowards. I would get rid of... Just give it it some space. I would get rid of Mario Brothers Wonder or Tears of the Kingdom. Oh! It's an interesting... It's it's something we haven't touched on yet. And I'm open for this discussion slash debate because I think... What? <laughs> Let's discuss. Let's Interesting. Discuss. I just think okay. We should talk about all the games, and by just glossing over these and saying, "Yeah, it's in, it's in." They have to be. I went over to my friend Emily's house last night. Um, Emily doesn't get a vote. No, no, hey, what are you doing? This is not story time. Me out, me out. This is yes, kill one of the two the best games it's, of the year. It's contextually relevant. Well, was it Emily? Is that who you don't? No, that wasn't Emily. You so I went over to my friend yeah. Emily's house last night because she needed help uh, finishing Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. And I haven't played it since I finished it yep. a few months ago um, and going back into it, uh, it, everything was flooding back to me about just how much fun B-tier that game is. is. Oh, right. Interesting. But it, there's, a, there's been sticky tape on your chair this whole record. It's quite with, annoying. Oh, wow. With uh, compared to Wonder? Oh, so, Ruby, you're, fight, you're, you're saying if you had to remove one of the two, it would be Mario Wonder. And remember, we're removing Tears of the Kingdom or Mario Wonder for Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Yeah, right so I think yeah. that's when it gets weird yeah. for me. That's in your head math right now. I'm that's up for discussing the flaws yeah. in both those games because that's kind of all I could think of when I played at least Tears of the Kingdom. I loved so much of that game, but all I could think about was what I didn't like in it when I played yep. it. It was such a weird way to footage. Excellent. So good. Uh, no, no, it's all great. It's it, and it's it's one of those games that is not greater than the. It's greater than some of its parts because when you look at the parts individually, they're all stuck together with snot, and I didn't like that. Well, I finished this one, and I didn't finish Breath of the Wild. Um, but I also feel like I just it, this this caught hold of people in a way that like I saw. Yeah. So many incredible creations and people it's, engaging with this game in ways that made that they kind of made it their own. It's and staying stuff. on the list. It's not not. It's not going. Fine. Okay. Uh, I think realistically, yeah. Like <laughs> no, this has to stay on. It's just so yeah. ridiculously and therefore huge Mario and, Wonder gone. Well, that's it. I loved Super Mario Bros. Wonder, but I had a look at my playtime for, for <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. It. Uh, Mario Wonder and Hello Kitty Island Adventure <laughs> and Tears of the Kingdom and Hello Kitty I had the same amount of hours in well, and Mario Wonder was much less. I played Mario Wonder obviously we played it on the couch we played the four player mode and that was fun and I started playing through the campaign um, I played about 90 minutes of uh, the top of Mario Wonder for the first time like last week mm. and it's uh, it feels great uh, and it's kind of exciting going it's to gorgeous. each new level Um I just... Is there something in the fact that we know... Like, we might only get one dredge, and it was amazing. But we know we've had many Marios. And there will be many, many, many Marios to come. That's they such will, an interesting point. Yeah, they will yeah, build yeah. off this. I said in my... Like, I called it as my kind of, like, gaming... Ex- 
game of the year because it was just one that I walked away from just being like utterly happy. Mm. But I know I'm going to be happy again next year. And I know the things that worked in this are going to just stay in it and stay in the series. I even mentioned, I'm like, everything they did right in this will find its way into future Mario games. So in that sense, Tears of the Kingdom did more and was more inventive and, and might be its last chance to be that open world version of Zelda. Yeah. I cherish that. Mm. Mario just had a freaking great time with it. I'm like, I'll have great fun when the next I know, it's almost like it's... Out. it's it suffers for being a 10 out of 10 Mario experience. It's, it's like, it, it is a 10 out of 10 Mario experience. But as a yeah. oh, spanner, back in the works, yeah. as okay. a back pocket game, we all did a little bit of the Wiggler race. We all had a great time. Mm. It made a great segment. We all played I that. streamed it and everyone loved watching me stream it. But then they loved the <laughs> game. You had, you, you had an almost Trumpian cadence there. Yeah, yeah. I Jesus streamed it Christ. and everybody your loved hands watching me stream it. They came second. to the stream, tears running down their eyes. They said, we love the game. They said, we love you playing it. <laughs> So as a back pocket game, and Nintendo, they won't tell you about the Nintendo. game. They won't tell you. <laughs> so uh, oh, that's a really good point. We all We're played it. The, we all played it because it's a Mario game. It. But I, again, Mario like, game. and I think kids growing up playing that game now are, are getting a brilliant Mario game. Mm. But it'll have no impact on me going forward. It's just like, it, and it's, yeah, that's not it's fair for me to go. Oh, it's. But I think it's going to have a, an impact on Mario as a series. Is it? Yeah. I just think, yeah. I don't no, think so. You know, she's time. right. It, it will time. in the sense that they'll build off what works, but that Absolutely. doesn't make this individual but th game there was, like, feel... What, what is different about this Mario game compared to every other Mario game? Elephant. Seeds. It's just that there's just... There was a, there's a stick in, there's no, no, a stick no, no. In the thing that's different is a holistic Daisy. reinvention Daisy. of kind of the... They didn't reinvent well, so the, anything. Shut up. I mean, they visually Let me explain. Is the fact that they recaptured a kind of energy and joy that we haven't seen since Super Mario Bros. World. Everything has been iterative since. That was them going the SNES game. This is as iterative as any Mario Would you say it's about the vibe? It's visually reinvented. As well, the sound design is... Better than any other See, I'm Mario not even picking out the minutia of it. I'm saying I think it just was the first one to recapture a certain level of magic, a je ne sais quoi, or whatever that phrase is, since some of the early ones. You can't put your finger on this is the thing they changed that made it really good. It was that they managed to stop making it feel like an iterative new Super Mario's U Deluxe kind of whatever they were repackaging that and redoing. It feels exactly the same as those to me. To but you, if you were to yeah. rank all of the Mario that games that you've enjoyed in your wrong. life, where does this sit? <laughs> Here's the thing. My favourites are the 3D ones. So this is my favorite 2D one, but mm, if I had to rank it next to a 3D one, I'd say the 3D one always trumps it. But they're it. different games. It's like I'm trying to help yeah. you kill it. <laughs> they're different games. Oh, it, it's killed. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, good. Thank it's you, Will. It's gone. Okay, oh. so we've moved on. But only he it's can fantastic. do it. <laughs> it's <laughs> fantastic. But we're keeping everyone Just because one, so it's not on the list 20. doesn't this mean it's not a wonderfully a perfect, doesn't chaotic mean we can't uh, Call game, it for a cheeky late night hook up from time I, to time. I, just, I love that I was leading to removing it and Peter saw and just dug the heel in the neck. I was like, I'm I about to say, first. What are you this talking is why I'm going to let it go. Because it was my game it's of the year. It's not your game. No, it was my was game, it of, your the game year. of the year. Was it genuinely like, your game of the year? That's not our fault you made Out a horrible decision. I played this year. He's basically like... You can't quit, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't find me, I quit. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait hold on. Mm. Was it genuinely your game of the year? According to the video, yes. According to the okay, video, okay. In yeah. that case, I'm happy for it to be swapped out with Tears of the Kingdom. No, I'm not, because I think Tears of the Kingdom deserves Tears to be better. up there. I'm not saying this is oh. a toss up between these two. Because I think because, it's a toss up between these two. Because, well, I guess no, we because your, your personal game of the year is not a reflection of what you think should be on the top ten. It's like no, it's like you had a special relationship with Let's that game. Let's work with what we've got. Mm. Everybody wants to switch number one Perfect. until the end when we switch it. Yeah. Hello Kitty Island Adventure, that's definitely 10. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, would, I wouldn't call it 10. <laughs> no, Ruby, be lucky it's See, there. This, no, no, um, I am lucky for my life and that's all I'm lucky for. Uh, when it comes to everything else, it's simply a given. Hello Kitty Island Adventure, I would say, yeah. in, in the grand scheme of things, would be five. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cute. Okay. For so me governs personally, nine. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. would be one. But... Looking at this list, it would be number five. What would you put below it? Uh, put below it, I probably like Alan Wake 2, um, <laughs> uh, Diablo, right, right, uh, yeah, Diablo yeah, yeah. 4. Ba -bow. Ba -bow. Ba -bow. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's great. It's, it's top 10. For me, Tears sits at five, or like at least moves down. Alan Wake was my other favorite game of the year. Yeah. Actually, Alan Wake might have been my like. 
Yeah. I actually, couldn't... just bought it the other day. But Peter chose to talk so about it, so I'm excited to, to play it. I said, I want to talk about Alan Wake 2, and you're like, I liked Alan Wake 2 as well. And I was like, okay, maybe I could think about Lethal Company. And then you're like, no one's doing Mario Wonder. I was like, why don't you do Mario Wonder, and I'll do Alan Wake 2. And you're like, yeah, that sounds good. And you did I it. didn't feel like that, though. <laughs> Inside, I was screaming. Um, I, I bought so in that Wake sense, 2 and I'm going to play it. I'm nice. really excited. I'm good. so scared. Alan Wake 2 was the best gaming experience I had this year. Pretty yeah, I would say it's, a, it, it, it's really tight the whole yep. way through and is very effective at being the game that it is. I don't think it's as inventive or um, like from a game design perspective as some of the other ones, but it is the most impressive version of what this kind mm. of game can be. So where does this leave? I think the live action and, um, you know, video game crossover is just so cool. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's, it's done in a way that doesn't feel like it's uh, uh, the live action moments have been kind of just thrown in there. I Hang on, I'm, I'm, really I'm not pulling that. But you haven't played it yet. I, uh, I've watched a lot of totally, gameplay. totally, totally. Yeah, because you're right. It, do, it definitely yeah. does a lovely thing, which is it stops you wincing every time it moves to FMV, yeah. and uh, and when you fall back between the two modes, there's some bits in it that feel a little padded, and it definitely go, it's pretentious for pretentious' sake. It's a writer being falling into his own novelization, but I would say like it kept me coming back every night to finish it, and I was like, I really want to dive back into this. Yeah, I definitely think it deserves potentially three. I would go through. I would go three. three. Does and anyone want to fight us on that? Baldur's no. Gate 2. I mean, Baldur's Gate just hasn't moved and we will not talk about it. It just yeah, lives yeah. there. Like, mm. it's, that makes sense. It's the one that we can't I'm talk too about. scared. She's sitting next to me. Okay. She <laughs> will murder. <laughs> I mean. Everyone on to switch, Baldur's Gate, Alan Wake 2. Let's start with that and then jump that's across, what back I'm to thinking. 9 because we should be mm. working our way back forward from there. Um, Let's put Hello Kitty Island Adventure at 5. No. no. <laughs> Hello Kitty is locked. Let's start with 9. That's weird that it's locked. Well, if we lock it in, what color? on the left. Do we make it green if it's locked? Maybe we'll potentially. That would be lovely. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Alan if Wake we're two, locking Hello company. Kitty, I genuinely think A Space for the Unbound should be at number 5. That's my opinion. Would you put it above? I would, put it at nine. would you put it above Gubbins? I wouldn't. Oh, I loved Gubbins. <laughs> and I still do love Gubbins. I, especially on about nine. That's huge. I think it's yeah. I, it's mm. also like it's also there. especially yeah. on about six. No, hang on. It's, f- Debate logically. It made the top ten. Debate logically. And Are you serious? <laughs> Everybody won to switch at the very top and you're telling me to debate logically? <laughs> you just won the debate. She's well, got a, she's she's got a point. <laughs> Thank you. You won the logic debate. Space Ooh. for the Unbound. Number six, please. I would prefer to see Gubbins uh, Gubbins up. on five. I would like to see Lethal Dredge. Company should be on the right as well. You think? I would swap Gubbins and yeah, for sure. Ooh. I would swap Gubbins and Lethal Company. Company's fantastic. What? For what it, it is, is super it's like, cool. Um, I haven't played it yet. No, it. it's still very much a work in progress. Peter, like Peter brought it over, in. and he's ha- and he's. It's a word puzzle game. Like right. it's great, and it's it's awesome. But I reckon it. That but shouldn't le- limit it by the genre. Shouldn't limit it. <laughs> I think Gubbins. Except in the case of basically there. unbound, where I it think should Gubbins be eight. because I'm blind. <laughs> and I love Gubbins. I think Lethal Company should be on the left. I think Gubbins might think, still be on that side. I think Dredge should be on the left. I think Lethal Company should be above Tears of the Kingdom. I was just moving it to the right. Um, okay, this is going to be sound controversial and crazy. Yeah. Tears of the Kingdom 8. That, yeah, I'm fine with that. That doesn't... That, mm-hmm. And I loved Tears of the Kingdom. No, you don't have to justify it. it. It's, it's I here. thought we did have to justify mm. it. Sometimes. Unless you have okay. to fight for Tears it. Tears of the Kingdom 8. That's my opinion. I think it's a good opinion. Um, Gubbins five. You'll never justify when people are like. Ah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> That's when he does. Uh, sorry, Gubbins five. Gubbins five. Lethal Company back to four. Lethal yes. Company back to four. How Hello Kitty Diablo? Island Adventure six. I think Diablo is good where it is. Diablo happy at six. I, I really? don't really have a dog in that fight. Dredge. Okay. It's it is great. In that case, oh, Dredge is so good. Can will keep up with the nonsense that we're spouting right now. I think he's, he has. He's purposely waiting yeah, for yeah, yeah. you hard. to actually make a decision. Mm. Well, I think, yeah, we had... Uh, th- this is a I'm good happy list. with everything that's on the left, and I, and, I'm, and I think the right is a question of, like... Just where things are. Where things are. I... <clears throat> yeah. Tears of the Kingdom 10? No, I'm happy with this. Well, wow. wow. yes. adventure. Now she's Kingdom Ten. She's it just keeps. No. It just keeps. Uh, it just keeps Move moving. Move Hello Kitty in space for the Unbound up. Tears no. of Kingdom Ten. Yeah. No, don't do yeah. that. Don't okay. do that. Oh. Tears stays at eight. Sorry. <laughs> Te- what was that? No, Josh, you with me? 
What's that? No, sorry, I wasn't listening. To We've Gus made Josh sad. That, Ruby. I just think it's really funny how I'm the only one who played Hello Kitty. <laughs> That is not funny. That's very that's, obvious. Yeah, that's, because that's, that's the reason why I'm still surprised it's on the list at all. Why would anyone? Because uh, it's an amazing game. Everyone who comes to this <laughs> list, if it posts on social, they're going to be like, okay, number one, everyone wants to... Eh, they're going to disregard yeah, yeah, yeah. everything they see here. Uh, it's crazy how much space number one is taking. Okay. And I love, Can I, I now love, do... It's got, it's got big dick energy it and it knows does, it, you know? It's... Does it does can this I discredit propose, our list entirely? Can, yeah, can I propose that the switch happens now and it's actually... It goes to 10 and pumps it bumps everything up once. Everybody yeah. want to switch goes to Everybody 10. Everybody wants to everything switch up. number 10. Yep. So we go Baldur's Gate, Alan Wake, Lethal Company, Govins. We've just made it as hard as possible for Will because... I know. <laughs> we, 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 we didn't... Rather than yeah. switching like 1 and 10, Can we're like, move, move all around? of them one space. <laughs> <laughs> like drag. Does that, up and that drag, pushes Diablo up to 5? Yeah, it's it's again, I'm... That pushes yeah. Diablo into the like, and we're we're kind of uh, under the understanding that one to five is just sort of precious. Like they're what we're. Going I'm to happy my... for Diablo to be at six if you want something else to be at yeah, five. Yeah, I just don't only... think it should be lower than six. Yeah, because I, I, I feel Dredge, five. Dredge could go to five and sit just below with, Gubbins. With Diablo six, f- four, mm. six, fuck. <laughs> with Let's... Diablo four, and I I say this purely from the perspective of it came out when I was still at Kotaku and writing and reading a lot of stuff for it, um, and when when it came out at the very start. A huge thing was just how predatory some of those microtransactions were. Dredge and Diablo switching up will. But if we're, if we're, if we're, no, you're you're talking to someone. You're talking about you're Diablo Immortal, t- right? Oh, fuck, I am. Never mind. Yeah. 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 I, I missed them up. <laughs> yeah. Diablo and, and, Diablo and, and, and it, from Diablo Immortal. I think awesome. um, it's important for me to say that I am someone who has spent hundreds of dollars on horses. So <laughs> I can't cool. really argue with. You are not. <laughs> How predatory is, everything is. Okay, l- if we have a look at this in a sec, this is an interesting mortal. list now Two because essentially we've oh, got our big players up the bad. top. We've got our kind of little favourites underneath that and then we just put everything across to 6 to 10 is like the leftovers. Trash. Uh, wrong. <laughs> I would disagree. Lethal with... Company governs and Dredge sitting there is like wonderful. I like, love that so much. Yeah, yeah. I, and they're sitting they're sitting underneath this fucking monumental weight of Baldur's Gate 3 and Alan Wake 2. <laughs> just like, just the amount of development six work. six spaces and... after Alan Wake 2 and then yeah. the rest. Um, it's weird. Like, I haven't played a minute of Lethal Company. I've watched socials about it. I've seen you play it. I've giggled at what I've seen about it. I totally am happy with it sitting there and I, I look forward to You've when I... You've got to play it. That's the thing. I yeah. can't wait to play it. Um, but I'm happy with that because I've played four out of the five on the left. And I was going to ask everyone else, like... I've played two. Gubbins and Dredge? Yeah. Uh, I've played three on the left. Uh, if you count... But I know that I'll love Alan Wake too. Um, and I don't know that I'll make it to Dredge. Yeah. Realistically. Fair enough. Yeah, Dredge is not a game on for a me. On a slow but boat. Dredge to... is so cool. <clears throat> um, yeah, I like, I like this. I respect Dredge from what I've seen of it. Uh, Alan Wake is gonna be my Christmas Christmas break game. Yeah, nice. That's I, would, I could still I could still swap oh, Tears of the Kingdom and the Space for the Unbound. I agree, right. and I also agree. I don't Tears w- of the Kingdom Nine. Let's no, bump no, Hello no, Kitty no, Island no. Whoa, 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 whoa! Pick your battles. I, I'm picking that battle actually. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't play Space for the Unbound. Gun, it had an impact on you guys. I can't say I was emotionally moved in any way by. Anything that Tears of the Kingdom did. So I'm agreeing. I'm I saying. Did, funnily enough, I did cry at the end of Tears of the Kingdom. That was because someone ran in and kicked you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like it was at the same time. So. I know. So it, I think it's so much for playing my game. Exactly. Thank you so much for playing my game. You the Um, I would move. Yeah, I would swap a space for the Unbound and Tears of the Kingdom, and then I would also swap Hello Kitty. <laughs> no, Adventure. stop it. They're and locked, Ruby. They're locked. And Baldur's Gate Three. Yeah. Why Again, are they locked? I, Why is they're yellow. Locked? They can't be changed. What was it about mm. Space for the Unbound that pushes it up? I'm genuinely just, to, to to me it was a uh, j- the culmination of all of it. It was a very small team. Uh, it was a very fresh story. It was a retro game with new ideas built into that concept. Yep. They managed to bring a really fresh take on uh, like a time looping as a. Mm-hmm. Uh, an idea, a main idea in the game. Yeah, all of the all of the new game design that they attach to this retro game 
was thematically appropriate for the story they were telling. It was just really this co- like a brilliantly cohesive thing. Yeah. Mm. And it was um I didn't expect it to be so polished from such a small team. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, and it, it, it like it it outclasses pretty much everything even even close to Alan Wake on the list for being a Execution of story. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, the story is just fantastic. And I again, love as I said, Alan Wake Two gets away with being overwritten because of its like yeah. premise. So yeah. that just lets them slide. Whereas this, you said, if it's if it's tightly written mm. and like a cohesive story that actually has a point and is poignant, then, and yeah. uh, okay. so much is thrown into it in such different ways. Like the 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 mi- the fighting mini game is absolutely so here's fantastic. why I think yeah and I just want to bring this back to this is why over Venbar I think this game has an emotional impact an interesting story and there is still something in there I'm not trying to say it's better but I'm still saying, qualifying his no, hatred like, of Venbar clearly had an impact on you <laughs> like, and then you're like there's, Venba mini- rocks. there's something in there that you were like you like that reworked mini game mm. and stuff and also similarly to how much I think Venbar really uh, has such a, a beautiful and and in depth grasp on kind of uh, cultural exchange, but also disenfranchisement of culture. Uh, I think Sp- a space for the unbound captures uh, uh, its Indonesian landscape so well. Mm. Yeah. Um, it, it, it cats everywhere. Cats everywhere, <laughs> uh, but, but uh, it, it captures it really, really well in different uh, periods of time yeah. too, mm. which I think yeah, is okay. so. I'm, I'm cool really intrigued to actually so play because again, I totally spaced out on that one. It's um, such a such a good game. One minor request. Oh, because what we know with 10. We know this is locked though, right? This is locked. I'm yeah. not talking about moving it. I know, I know. What if we do a little bit of... What if a little, what if a little, bit, of, a little bit of wonder just, just underneath 10? Just like everyone wants to switch. We know it's the game. And then just underneath that. Like a 10.5? Just 10, Mario Wonder. Mario there. Wonder 10.5? 10.5 just Ooh. down there. 10.5 Mario Wonder. I feel that's acceptable. Okay. Don't lock it though. What? <laughs> because if, if we're in a 10.5, Starfield like... might creep back up in there. <laughs> <laughs> we're down to decimals, people. Yeah. Why? I... 10.5? It's just, it was my game of the year. It's an honorary uh, It's an honorary 11. little, like, it just gets in there because we... <laughs> Thank yes. you, Will. Yes. Thank you, William. Oh, there. my God. Well, that's what a perfect we, list. What if we don't <laughs> write Mario Wonder, but we just draw a small elephant? Yeah. Well, I think I, I think, think Mario. I'd, I'd like to. See, I'd like to see him write Wonder in that's, paint as well. No, nah, that's it's, fine. It's fine as this. Cool. All right. Mm. Um, I'm very hot because I wore a Christmas jumper. <laughs> okay, working backwards. I Wait, no, aren't we done? Yeah. <laughs> we just said. Okay. Um, that's it. I went to my friend Emily's house. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more friends named Emily. <laughs> this is it. Locked in now. Game of the year for 2023 for back pocket at 10.5. Mario Wonder. Yep. yep. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. At 10.8. Starfield. <laughs> and at 11, we have Venba. 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 Yeah. But, but 10. Yes. 10. Em- Everybody, one, two, switch. If you don't know what we're talking about, go and watch us play it. Yeah. That's why it is on the list. It is uh, wonderful. Even we hate it while we're playing yes. it, and it's still. We want to play it, it more. Got I want to play it again. Yeah. I want to play it again. I would say everybody want to switch is like the people's choice of this list. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. And yeah. we uh, are the people. The, the, like the, the joy of. Everyone playing it at PAX with us and taking the photos and all that the kind of stuff. The fact that worked is yeah. one That's of my like core the memories of 2023. That's why. Well. Yeah. Yeah. No dick pics. Click with we avoided dicks. No dicks. No dicks. No dicks. Were, and there were no dicks. And there were no dicks. Like, what an achievement. Number nine. And number nine, no what a, dicks. What a back pocket achievement <laughs> number, for 2023. Number nine's my one of my number ones. Um, <laughs> so I, <listen> to that. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know, like Hello Kitty Island Adventure. It's that sort of thing where, like, I wasn't expecting a licensed game yep. to be as good, as polished, and as full of love as it is. It's very rare that licensed games are made with so much I think love. I'm going to buy a Backbone just so I can play this. I know it doesn't need it, but a I just want to, uh, like, uh, for, your, for your phone. Control of your phone. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, get well, a that's spine the and play Hello Kitty. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what are you? Hard enough to get oh, a yeah, spine. Yeah. Grow up. I was so confused. It's so, so uh, yeah. delightful. It's just like even if you're even if you weird you're not a Hello Kitty no, again, fan. weird that it's not on Switch or something like for how I, I it honestly will come think eventually. It it's will usually be eventually. a year exclusive. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I think like, like uh, what what the Golf ended up making it out yeah. of yeah. Yeah. Apple Arcade eventually. I'm gonna play it on my Xbox Series um, X. But it, it's got great controller support, and I just yeah. it's just so delightful, man. This does it have ray tracing. What I wanted out of it doesn't, doesn't not, even need it. it. No, it's just. Round. That was a, that was a joke. Soft. Yeah. <laughs> it's got soft traces. Number soft. eight. 
We're, we're actually Lost, moving Tears, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Tears of the Kingdom. Um, it it's just it's a monumental gaming effort that they made it work on yeah. the fucking Switch yeah. as well. Like it's just got. Oh I, I God, will yeah. go back to it. I booted it up recently and I was like. Oh, there's just so many bits. I don't quite remember where I left this. And I do think it was just almost... Uh, bloat's not the right word, but I mm. do feel like for having a pure experience with Breath of the Wild to then go into feature full, I was a little like, it's not what I fell in love with, but I respect the hell out of this game. And yeah. there's so much I, I slept on in it that I hope to boot it up again and go back. And again, it just it, it shouldn't work for the system it is on for how much game... There is three landscapes the size I, of the first. I just absolutely loved it. Not to mention, I really loved the story. And I think a lot of people yeah. didn't care for it. Yeah. I really yeah. loved it. Yeah. No, but, but yeah. I did. It's on and the that's list. my opinion. Nice. Uh, seven Space of the Unbound. You two just, we I just, think, wax lyrical about that about beautiful it. game. Steph. It's so good. Diablo 6 in 6. <laughs> Ironic. Diablo, Diablo 4. Uh, the, this is kind of like my go-to with my friends at the moment. We just all kind of pile in there. I have spent a lot of money on horses. But um, <laughs> it's because of they're sort of releasing these seasonal updates. Sure. The way they've kind of structured it, you're uh, you're rolling a new character with each season, which is kind of that's right. Yeah, gets yeah. you out of your sort of pattern of playing of doing the same thing or playing the same class. Cool. And and they've been really responsive to sort of people's updates and stuff. To also, how much we talked about this, or you guys revisited this to talk about on the show this it's year, I think is a testament stunning. to stunning. Yeah. And it is a beautiful setting, and I just um, I really like being in this world, and it's fun. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if this was in the bonus app or in um, in the main app. Zalavia's. One is Zalavia's yeah, game. Zalavia, game uh, in the main app. Yeah. One is Zalavia's game of the year was uh, Diablo 4. He just absolutely loved it. And cool. he said he was surprised by that because it's not his kind of game. It's, mm. It just is. He said he's never played That always happens to everyone the first before. time they play a Diablo game. Because they're they're like, br they are brilliant games. And yeah, oh I think the God, people yeah. that have, like, you know, uh, I think they got way better received than Diablo 3. Three from people who love Diablo games, and yeah. uh, I know it's found a new yep. audience as well. So it's impressive. also just like, uh, you know, I I talk about the uh, the cosmetics, but I've I've not seen detail in the art and design in a game like that. I don't think ever. Like yeah. I just like I weep when I when the art pops up <laughs> on my screen. I'm like, come on, yeah. too pretty. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. Uh, Dredge number Dredge. five. Dredge. Uh, I got about halfway through it, and I'm leaving it to come back. I'm very excited for the day I pick that back up, but I think I'm going to re-roll it on Switch because I played on PC, and I really want to play it on my Switch. Perfect, like another one of those uh, similar to Cult of the Lamb, marrying two styles of game together. Mm. Like you've got your, you've fishing got your game. fishing co uh, cottage core, cozy core, whatever it's called, and then you've got. Um, a very sinister mm. survival game on top mm. of that. And they marry together really well. Um, I think just the idea of pushing a little tugboat around like he's in the bath. It's just like, but I think a lot like of people enjoyed insane. the way it just controlled as this cute little interface. It's just mm. beautifully designed. And then as well, I mean, like uh, as we talked about um, a space with, for the Unbound being made by a small team, mm. uh, the same could be said of Black Salt Games pretty sure this is their first game yeah right yeah. and it is just absolutely knocked out of the park i went to uh when i was in melbourne and went to freakon uh two of the devs from black salt games uh came to talk about dredge and learning that they made this game in i think like a year or two mm. and had like a working prototype really really quickly uh and the the, the prototype looked like it could be you know uh, a somewhat finished game yeah. and then you know it just grew and and got more and more polished until it came to be this and this is just gorgeous and it's probably one of the biggest games to come out of new zealand and that's so cool yeah uh, so it's rare for a game as well to do that thing which is pushing the boundary of how far you should go that day that night that mm, kind of like yeah do i do i dare do i risk of, it yeah, yeah i haven't played mm. that in a, a game that's done that in a long time and that was ugh, Love very that. cool dredge is so cool Gubbins. Gubbins. Oh, Gubbins. Gubbins. Aussie darling. I think Gubbins is also one of those ones. Um, in a way, I would say uh, same, same, but different with every, everybody want to switch. Well, I would also consider it uh, a people's choice, but a people's choice because it is just so delightful yeah. and <laughs> everybody's playing it. We've, we've talked about it at length for good reason, but then every time the footage comes up that we're staring at right now, I'm just kind of like miss... Just it's so mystified. stylish. Yeah. Like every aspect of it has been designed and thoughtfully like executed from 
just an art perspective. Smartly developed mm. in art terms of how they got backing, how they released it early access, how they've marketed it, how they've created it's it as a free clever. game that yeah. is not predatory in the way it can be paid for. I think, yeah, they've just like absolutely kicked goals the and whole just, way And through. it's just so great yeah. every time you see someone's thing pop up on on social media yeah, it's yeah. just like it's instantly delightful and you, it's, know, you feel the joy that the, that person had making that yeah, yeah. <laughs> also the, the the colors are fantastic i think uh being able to have you know good graphic design and choose just the right hues is very difficult hues every of single the year every hues, si yeah. yeah every single color in that game worked great palette together. great yeah. palette. I, I, would just, I would also say because it's a word game that might push some people away but it's so approachable mm, in its design. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't feel competitive. It's not about feeling necessarily smart. It's about like it playing you, the, the you Scrabble. You feel smart. You do it feel gives, smart, it but it's a, Scrabble, a it's a Scrabble type game. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But it's, it's yeah, it just really like holds your hand in really nice ways and is beautiful. But yeah. it can also bite your hand with some of the mean the gubbins. gubbins. The gubbins. Yeah. Uh, things biting you, Peter. Leave the company. Uh, what a little surprise. Oh my gosh. Uh, a just a brilliant, uh, horror survival experience, made janky in all the right ways, developer. made by a Roblox Roblox developer. Uh, Steph, you've played a fair bit of it now as well. It's um, I cannot wait to play more of this. Yeah, and it's it's just a little loop. It's not even a. It's just it's rogue like you just lose everything when you lose. You start from scratch every time, and that's it's just the loop of the game it's is so, so solid it's so funny and surprising and i've lost hours just watching clips of this game <laughs> yeah. of other people playing this game because watching other people react and the things that every time you think you've like experienced everything you haven't you i love ha i love haven't. seeing when someone nails a formula um but i guess you could say like phantasmagoria or stuff it like has similar phasmophobia. vibes phasmophobia yeah. thank you um i love seeing not when they come up with a new uh genre or new format but when someone comes back and goes like yeah but i'm gonna add this spin to it i'm gonna perfect it i'm gonna do what the first this other game needed uh to yeah. be just that bit more playable and this you know you like can that. upgrade your ship and stuff like some of the stuff when you start earning money you can upgrade your ship and you can put like a full um, dining table with like a candle lit dinner on it and stuff and like yeah. fairy lights for the Jesus. inside of your like, it knows so, you're playing for no it's reason so Steph, we need walkie talkies no... I made dinner it's just yeah. a waste of money <laughs> yeah well that's what Peyton was yeah. spending all of our freaking yeah. money on she's yeah. like a bell and I'm like oh god I mean the bell is actually functional because you can hold people back to the you can be dinner the time yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The but, the, but the dinner table was very expensive and it did not help us at all it did not fit in our shipping table it's also you know it brings the team together for a beautiful family dinner true I think it's also the coolest uh, uh, example of in-game uh, voice chat that I've ever seen. Oh, I, yeah. I think I think it's done the, so well and so creatively. I, it's that that yeah. proxy voice chat I thought should be in everything, and it's not for the obvious reasons. But when it's is, it reminds me I'm like oh, this is such a cool thing video games oh, can do. But even the fact so that like there are monsters that can like. Uh, jump on your face Muffle and then it and, yeah. muffles your voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so Simple cool. Simple ideas done Just well. The yeah. sound yeah. of someone's yeah. voice trailing off as uh. your ship leaves them behind. Oh. <laughs> I think that <laughs> the true triumph of the game, though, is somehow comedic timing baked into AI. Yeah. Oh like God. the yeah. way. Just. Every time someone dies, it's hilarious and terrifying. <laughs> yeah. And just, it's just like happened. in. Yeah. <laughs> Alan Wake 2. Alan Wake 2. <laughs> no, yep. Sorry. No, totally. It, yeah. It's a, a surprise came out of nowhere. Not just because it was a, had video in it, Alan Wake 2. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. back on that. Yeah. It, like, it felt to me like watching a, like it felt like watching a great TV series and not for the video sections. Mm. The way this story carried through chapters, the music in between every uh, like moment. It just, it had that Kojima wank without Kojima. I loved it. It was like, it had that self-indulgence, I should say. Yeah. 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 Totally. Without, without doing it for the sake of going, you don't know why you just did that. Whereas here, is it Sam Lake and the team at Re Remedy just like, yeah. yeah, they do it because they are confident and it just feels good to be playing something that I know someone is smilingly sinister pro programming being like but everything even, about this ties back in some way. Even the story behind it as well, I think is really cool. How like, uh, you know, the remedy team did want to make this game mm. uh, ages ago, but they couldn't because they couldn't afford it. And now uh, fast forward to now, and it's come out to so much love. Mm. I think that's 
really, really cool. And that's cool because they they obviously had a clear vision for it from oh the start. God, yeah. that they were oh, it's like, a messed up vision. None of it makes sense. <laughs> but you got to piece it together. But on a clear, the wall. a clear <laughs> yet messed up vision. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This made me feel smart too a little bit. This felt like it had overly complex mechanics that actually weren't that were quite simple. So it was like piecing evidence together, pulling multiple narratives together, and within all of that, the action. I was like, am I going to be able to comprehend all of this? Mm. And it's surprisingly actually a pretty straightforward narrative totally and it's a detective game in the way a lot of other like games have done similar things but uh yeah there's just an elegance to all of the parts of it yeah that just you know it's not a perfect game but it, it's everything that they've executed is done with a lot of a lot of precision i like mm. that remedy have a distinct style and i can see it when i yeah. look at this hell it's, yeah it's cool yeah bg3 number BG3. one i thought two was better all right good night <laughs> I have a whole essay that I've I've recorded about this yep. and I feel yeah. like that says everything. So I would encourage you to watch that if you would love to see all the reasons why. You haven't finished it, so but for, on purpose. No, we're, we're, but, no, but, we're, we're pretty close, yeah. But you've we're just, been um, taking everything out of this game that you can while you're playing it by yeah, all the yeah. counts. And it's, it's now at the point now where I've seen so much of the game. It's getting very difficult to avoid end game spoilers yep. because I've seen so many, um, you know, different playthroughs and... It, even just going through collecting footage for my game of the year record, it was just so nice seeing the different variations of the way certain things could play out and just seeing everyone's different tabs. Yeah. Like there's so many beautiful characters that people have created to represent them. And it's just, yeah. And you uh, make them fuck. It's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I yes. mean, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I got I, further in this than I thought I would when I was playing it. I kind of played mm -hmm. it to be just like a, a touchstone on being able to talk about it. I got to when you come out of the mines into the dark forest, that's oh, yeah. all. which is, again, I was like, I can't believe I'm even here. Like, mm. I thought I was going to put this down after I left the, the tiefling village or whatever. And I'm like, I just kept going, which is not that far into the game. But for me, it was like, I'm coming yeah. back. Yeah, because mm. there's so many things that you would miss and not find. Like, mm. even when I, whenever I would be streaming it, um, people would be like, oh, my gosh, I don't, I missed this entirely. Oh, like, oh, where is this? And I'd be oh, like, yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I haven't played it and... Um, Originally, when it came out, I saw it and was like, oh, I'm not sure if this game is going to be for me. Uh, one, I started playing D&D &D again recently and was like, oh, I love d and I think I'm going to love Baldur's Gate 3, which is mm. why I'm going to play it in the break. And two, every gamer woman in my life, it is their favorite game this year. And I trust them with my life. <laughs> so therefore, I believe that this deserves to be at the number one spot. Yes. Yeah. Nice. It's just, um, it just captures everything that, you want uh, in a video game experience. And the, and the wonderful thing about it is that it captures, I was gonna say gaming with your friends, but people, you can play it on your own and have an amazing time doing. as well. And, I think and play through all those incredibly written character stories. Mm, I think that's such uh, uh, an impressive thing as well, to have a game difficult be- Difficult thing to do, yeah. Oh, so difficult to have a game be just as good as it is to play on your own as it is to play The only friends. thing is I genuinely was like, and Peter, of course you've played it because I've seen you in the game, but no, that was Reese made <laughs> you in the game. The game yeah. And I'm like, oh no, you haven't started yet, but I've- I, I've played two hours. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, and I enjoyed those two hours and was like, this is going to get deep real quick. Yep. I got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got too much Halo to play. Uh, well, congratulations. And that's why to... Halo is your game of the and that's year. That's why, yeah, my 10.8. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, uh, Back Pocket, Game of the Year for 2023, if you don't count everyone one to switch Which we definitely do. We do. We counted it at number Ooh, 10. Ha! 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 We're going to be back after ha, the uh, holiday ha, break. Ha. Ooh, what ha, are you playing? Ooh, Let us ha, know in the comments. Ooh, ha, what do you think ooh, is number ha. one? Watch Pocket Pals as well. Uh, they'll be Pals. coming soon. I don't know when this is coming out, but I hope you enjoy it. Merry I hope holidays. I hope you're using your Christmas presents right now in the lead up to the new year, or you're recovering from New Year's fever. Yeah, and if you disagree with us, oh well. Sucks to be you. That's sad. <laughs> okay, Hello Kitty off the list. No. <gasps> good night, everyone. Or well, good morning. Da 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 da.